Okay, I am back everybody. Um, so I moved my go-kart and I got my socket set out. So um, I will get started on taking this entire case right here off. Um, another thing is safety tips. See these silver rings right here? Take your sil if you wear rings, please, please take them off when you're working with circular machines because if they get caught, they will rip your fingers off. My dad works with a um, company that consists of uh, big machines, and they if you're wearing rings, the machine will rip your finger off. So please, take your rings off. Now this one, you're wondering why don't you have to take this one off? This one is a silicone ring. So when it gets pulled, it will break. If it gets pulled hard enough, this will break. Okay, so. Okay, so. Uh, I might have to take the carburetor off as well. Because it looks like it's leaking as well. Oh. Shoot. Hold the front door. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see this or not. See this little flange seal thing right there? A while back, I took this off because it broke off and, like, came out. And this fell down. I bet you 20 bucks that's a problem right there, Jack. Okay, let's try, I guess now, I'll take my air filter off. Carburetor, air filter, whatever you want to call this thing. Oh shoot, I have to take the entire pole off. God. Okay, so I don't know how y'all take yours off. Okay, I need to go get a um, wrench for this so I can um, tighten these two bolts down. When I get those, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I got my 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter uh, wrench and I also brought my spark plugs back over so let's get back on it okay I need my bolts so basic um, working with predators and getting these stub bolts out is actually pretty easy you just basically take your one bolt put it in backwards and then take your other one and put it on the correct way and thread them down to where they both get tight this is how I like to take them off. And then you can use a wrench or an impact. I like impact personally. So, and you just basically back her on out. And then it just looks like this. So you got your two bolts right there. And then your, the, this is what the carburetor sits on. And then these, this side, the smaller threads go in the engine. Make sure you get this right. Smaller threads go in the engine, the bigger threads go in the, um, come out. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's try and get this to slide up. Yeah, that'd do it. Okay, I think we might have just figured out the problem. So, what was happening was the air filter, um, seal for the, so it can connect evenly, was down. And I think what it was, is it was blocking airflow. It was in the way, so part of it was like, half of it was open, and I'm thinking it was getting choked when it wasn't supposed to. So now you can just take your impactor wrench. Make sure you don't tighten it too tight, and then put your stub in, and then take your wrench and you, other way, undo it. So basically that's it um, for that. Now I will take my seal for the carburetor to my air filter. I need to make a new one of these. And then you take that, stick that on there. Impact. Now, when you're putting these on, do not run them in all the way. Just get them to where they stay on and don't fall off. 
then basically you run them in until one side gets snugger, other guy, and then just back and forth. But you do not want to make them one side tight than the other side because then you will have, won't have a good seal. Now people have told me um, that you should not use impacts. You can do whatever you want on your engine. It's probably not the best to use impacts, but they use impacts for their crankcase. So when they're taking the side of the crankcase off, they use impacts um, to take them off and then wrenches to put them back on. Okay, so now that that's off and I think fixed, I'm going to try swapping out this spark plug right here with the V1, which was is not the original one. Um, let's see, which one's my original? I think it's, this is the original one of the engine. I put this one on, the V1, because it fits, because I wanted to use this one instead of the um, other one, because I wanted to have the other one as a like backup or a good one, because I knew that was like a brand new spark plug. This one, he's, uh, the guy who I got it from said it was like a brand new spark plug, so I'll just tighten this down. I'll give you guys more of a view of what I'm doing. I'm just basically tightening the spark plug. And then take this came with the engine, so you're probably wondering, oh, how do I get one of those? It came with the engine. You could probably get them somewhere. But you just tighten it down, not into where it's too tight, but just make sure that's on. Just turn it over a little bit. Sounds pretty good. Okay, put you down there. Now we'll give it a good stutter. So, um, that fixed the problem, I think. Now it's not dying at all, so, um, that's a good thing. And, Okay, um, I need to clean my air filter off, so, and, um, basically just wash it off. Um, so I am going to do that. Um, so yeah, but now you're probably wondering if you're a little bit new to how, why a little air filter, if it's in the way, why that would, um, cause it to shut off. Which makes perfect sense. Um, so what it is, is the carburetor has a bowl. The fuel runs through it and sits in the bowl. Now, the air filter filters the this thing, filters in all the air and cleans it out and basically makes it not as dirty. So it filters through and it sucks the air. When a pit, the piston goes down, it sucks the air in and allows for the fumes of the fuel to go into the engine. And that's how it works. So when the piston goes down, the air sucks in, the fumes go with the air, which the better an engine, when you hear, when an engine breathes better, that means there's more air going through, a little less gas um, being taken in. So it's better for your engine, you could say. And that's why people always say they put a turbo on it, it'll breathe so much better. Because basically a turbo will make it breathe better. So, um, what happens was when I took that uh, one pin out that was holding it, it fell down. And when you turn the choke on, it goes from this to this to block the air so you can get more gasoline running into it. So it sparks and starts the engine over better. The flange fell down and covered only like half of the... Um, carburetor so it would turn over a few times and then shut off because there wasn't enough air so I was like oh that's a stupid thing but it's my fault okay, okay. so I will clean this off
gasoline all over it, or oily substance. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but... I've always had a good reputation with dying, so, so give that a shot. Basically just running the soap and getting them all like into the lines, just getting it all in there. Obviously, you can see where all the soap was. Don't know if there's a way. It's wet. Okay. Turn my hands off. So, get all that water out of there. Okay, I cannot see now. <clears throat> um, so basically, I'm gonna let this dry. Um, the video is probably getting long enough. I pr I would like to make like around 15, 20 minute long videos, so um, they're not boring. If you want them longer say so in the comment section um so then i know i'll make every once in a while i'll make a longer video for you guys but um i'll probably stick around like maybe um 15 20 minute videos um that's okay with y'all and i know we didn't get to riding it around but i have to let the air filter dry but yeah so but yeah, um, in the next video, I think, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but first off, I need a new chain. Like, it's not as bad, it's not terrible, but it's not like whoopie doo. So you see that hole right there that has no screw in it? I'm gonna be replacing that. And then this air filter, I mean this muffler needs to be done and then um yeah i think that's about it then oh yeah and then i want to move the tackle box if you guys know of anywhere i could put it i was thinking right here maybe something like that but um it depends if it will fit like it should fit but i mean like mounting wise so yeah and then i reupholstered my seat um I put Go Power Sports, by the way, um, check them out. Go Power Sports um, is not sponsoring this video, but Go Power Sports is the best go kart place for um, go kart parts that you might need, upgrades, mods. Um, this air filter job right here, that would be a good um, Go Power Sports uh, need right there. So if you guys need anything from Go Power Sports, 
definitely check them out. They got reverse kits, um, torque converters, uh, chain and sprocket, tires, headlights, brake discs, brake calipers, everything you need. And speaking of brake calipers and brake discs, I would hopefully pretty soon am going to be, you can't see me now, haha. <laughs> Um, I am going to be hopefully going to be ordering a brake disc because um, the one that I have on here right now is garbage. It's worn. It's when it's actually not worn, it still doesn't break right, which is very irritating. Look at my greasy hands. Um, so I think I'm gonna buy one of those sometime or later, and then. I want to buy a new chain. Do not buy a chain from uh, Royal King. If you want it cheap, go to Royal King. But for some reason, I noticed when I buy it, it like, I don't know if it'll do it. Yeah, like right here, it gets grimy after like two rides. This one I've been pushing, but it's quite a bit loose. So, and then obviously this needs tightened. So, that's just a little bit of what I want to do to it um you can't see me again uh, so i'm gonna let that the air filter dry um, i'm probably gonna put my stuff up and then i'm gonna take it around just to see how it feels um i i'll probably record that so you guys can see it and then um but comment what like which device is recording with the best camera quality because that helps me out a lot because I really can't see what you guys see. Um, I can, technically, uh, with quotation marks. Um, can see kind of what you guys see. I can watch a video beforehand, but I'm not a viewer, so I can't see because if I, when I make a video, I'm going to be like, that's amazing, even though it has really bad camera quality. So you guys, so comment down below in the description um, what you think of the camera quality. The next video I post is going to be with hopefully the GoPro. So yeah, um, like and subscribe, um, comment down below, hit the notification bell for post notifications and uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later. Baby hasn't run for a while. It's old. Still is good taking off. Don't do this to me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. oh no no. I ran out of gas, I think. Crud. Oh shoot, I should have known that. It was leaking freaking gas. Okay, I can't get my seatbelt off. I'm such an idiot. Oh no. Oh no, no, this is not good. I'm about a half, you're probably like, oh, half, I'm a half, about a half a mile away from my house. Why is it whenever it dies, I'm at my friend's house? Ah, <sighs> boy. 
I don't want to leave it here. Oh. Okay, bye. I'm going to go get some fuel. Okay, well, I'll go that way. I will be right back.